welcome back to authentic jamaican cooking now in today's recipe i am going to be making curry goat now in my bowl you can see some meat the curry goat is in the bowl now when i went to the halal shop i requested for a leg of of goat and also a shoulder to be cut up like medium medium not large or too small but medium size and this is what i am going to be using to make my jamaican curry goat now the reason why i choose um the leg and the lamb the, the leg the leg and the shoulder is because the leg is kind of meaty and the shoulder is kind of bony so they both go together they're compatible to make the jamaican curry goat now in all my meat dishes i recommend that you wash with vinegar this is cane vinegar and it's the white vinegar this is what i'm going to be pouring on my my goat to wash it and also i i'm going to be using this fat lemon to wash it i'm going to do put squeeze the juice into the bowl and this is what i'm going to be using to wash my meat before i prep my meat with the seasoning which i am going to demonstrate after i finish washing the meat I'll pour my water, I'll pour my clean white clean juice, and also I'll cut my, my lemon and I'll pour. Wow, this lemon's got so juicy! Wow, super juicy! And if there's any pip, you can take it aside. Make sure that no, there's no pip in when you are doing your lemon. And you wash like so. As you can see, the water's a bit bloody. And you pour. Because I need my meat to be clean. Because the cleaner the meat is, the better it tastes. And all Jamaicans can tell you that before they do anything with any meat, they will wash their meat first. Sorry. So, after washing my meat with my lemon, and my vinegar, this is the color my mutton has now. So I am going to be showing you how I season my mutton. Guys, I wanna send some love to everyone who has been supporting my channel and liking my contents. And also to those who, hasn't, who have been like looking, but not subscribing or not liking or not giving up comment please come on board is that if there's any meals that you would like Jamaican meal that you like me to cook just just put something in a comment and tell me what you would like for me to, to cook and show you what to do so moving onwards I am now going to be showing you the ingredients that I use and I'm going to be making my curry now but this is the curry powder that Jamaican like better pack limited yeah this is what we use to make our curry this is very important because this is what makes give the club curry that flavor and the color and also I'm going to be using some Maggi season season chicken flavor in my curry and some season of all purpose, Maggie season of all purpose in my curry as well. And I'm going to be using Scotch bonnet pepper, 
I'm going to be using onions, spring onions, thyme, garlic, and also I'm going to be using coarse black pepper and a little pinch of salt not a lot because all these these seasons are very salty so therefore not a lot of salt you would use when you're making this curry and also guys i forget to say pimento seed that this is very important when you're making curry pimento seed is very important so i'm going to show you how i'm going to prep because my meat is i have three kilos three kilos of goat meat meat so that's what i'm going to be using to make this curry three kilos of goat meat but if you are watching and you want to make the same dish the goat meat you are uh, you if you want to put more or if you want to put less it's up to you but just kept, just cook according to the recipe but if you want to put more goat meat is up to you but for me that's how much i'm using so you can use as much as you like guys i forget to say that i have ginger as well this is like maybe um just a piece of ginger cut it snap in two because it is good for to cut ginger up as well because some people's stomachs is not good for the curry so the ginger make it better now i'm going to chop into my spring onion like so not too big and not too small it's okay like this just right how i want it now a lot of jamaicans they cook their curry but they cook it different but this is the way that i cook it this is my disclaimer this is how i cook it i haven't got a problem with people who cook their curry different just as long as you get the same result that's what that matters really so i'm cutting my ginger up like so You're not going to put a lot of ginger, guys. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. Just cut into it fine. And then I'm going to cut some pepper. Not a lot of pepper either. Just half. To put into my curry as well. And then I'm going to cut my time. Fresh time. I like to use fresh products to cook my food because it tastes just like back home. And I think it's the authentic way to cook Jamaican food doesn't matter where you are in the world you can still get the ingredients that you need to cook your food and I'm going to do half of the onion now all of these all of these spices I've washed before When you're cooking you've got to make sure that when you're chopping you know what you're doing because you don't want to cut your hands or injure yourself you have to make sure 
what you're doing is okay. Let your eyes do the talking for you and the measuring. So that you know not to chop into your hands. I'm gonna put my dry season in. I'm going to start by putting my curry. Okay. If I want more, I'll add more. And this is my season up. This is my black pepper. Not too much black pepper. And then I will add my onion and my hot pepper and my spring onion. Shoot it. Okay. And I will be using my my little friend, my garlic press. It's one of the favorite things that I use. I love to use when I season up my meat, my garlic press. Can't live without this. This is very important to me. Put your peg of garlic in and then press on like so and it comes out lovely you can do as much as you like i like to do my things by hand it makes me feel like i've done a good job I'm just gonna put everything, take out the thing out of my little machine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in my crushed pimento seed. And then I'll be massaging everything together. Smells very, ooh, very Caribbeanish. Back home in Jamaica and Curry. So you're going to incorporate everything together. It's looking nice, the colour. Looking nice. But I think I need some more black pepper, so I'll just put... You can always add as you go along guys you think you need and i think i need some more curry as well so i will put and after i've done all this i will then cover it up with my pink cling film and put it in my refrigerator for like four hours and then I'll come back to it and then I'll cook and then I'll show you guys how I cook this Jamaican curry goat so guys this is how your curry mutton should look you should have this color and it should have 
the season evenly distribute to it and as I said, told you I am going to put it in my refrigerator for a couple hours like four hours I said so this part is part of the video is going to be the cooking process as you can see after marinating my curry goat for four hours now I am gonna begin the cooking process of it and if you notice I've got my trusted Dutch pot on my cooker and the oil that I am going to be using is this fry light extra virgin olive oil spray which is very good when you're cooking because I don't like cooking with any heavy oil or anything that I think is too heavy so this is kind of ideal for me so I will start by spraying very lightly sorry guys but you can't see in the Dutch pot because it's so it's a very big Dutch pot so you can't see in the Dutch pot okay so I'm gonna start by just taking off and putting in taking off the seasons and putting it into the meat in a Dutch pot to cook one piece by one piece the reason why I do that is because after my my curry girl is a bit tender then I'll put back the season into the pot because curry goat goat meat is not it's not a soft meat it takes some time to cook probably take like maybe an hour and a half or even more to cook depends sometimes you can get soft one but but sometimes it's a bit a bit tough like so it, ha, ha, it will take you some time to cook take it off take off all the nice season or at least try you're not going to be able to take off everything but at least take off some because this is how it is take off what you can after you've done all of that taking it off the some of the season then you will close the pot and let it steam by itself then when that is that process is finished and it needs you are going to add water maybe a cup of water every time it needs water you add water until it it become to your desired texture how you want it but some people don't like it too soft some people like it medium and some people it depends it varies all about what you want So now I will I've closed the pot so I will just leave it to kind of steam by itself until it start frying and after it start frying for a bit I will did then add some water so I want to put this disclaimer out there some people when they're cooking their curry they burn the curry that's how they cook their Jamaican curry but for me I don't burn my curry because 
I've already cut ginger into my my season so that's okay for me but if other people want to burn their curry that's okay for them so for me I cut ginger up and put into the actual seasoning when I'm seasoning up my curry so it's okay so now I'm going to be using my little wooden spoon to just kind of stir this curry. It's already starting to spring water, so that's okay. That's okay. Guys, I just want to do, I want you to do an overhead camera shot. Uh, overhead video of how my curry is cooking so this is how it is cooking nicely on the pot and it sprung a whole lot of water so I'll just leave this to continue cooking nicely and the color looks amazing as well So now I am going to just look to see how hard my meat is and yeah it's still very hard so I'm going to leave it to steam so now I'll so close the pot back and leave it to steam. I am now going to add another one pint of water because my mutton is still, this is still a bit hard, so I'm just adding. As I add, I will now stir for a bit. And then I will cover up the pot for it to steam some more. I have added another pint of water so now I am just stirring and then I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close my pot so now I am gonna pour the rest of my season in that I took out of the curry because the curry got and then I am also going to pour another pint of water and that will be my final addition to this cooking also I am gonna put some butter as well I'm gonna add some butter not a lot just a little so I'm going to add a little butter so you see this is like a teaspoon of butter that I will add because I don't want my my curry goat to be very oily so I've done that and stir again. So when this goes down, that will be my final, final, final cooking. This will be finished when it goes down because I've added enough water and it is very, it's, get, it's getting very soft. So just like how I like it, I'll put my lid back on and that will be. I'll just leave it to steam again so I have finished making my curry mutton now and this is how it should look it's 
has this nice color to it this is how it should look and it's soft as well so this is how your curry muffin should look so this is it so guys this is how it should look it should have that nice color to it and it's a bit bony but it has some meat in it as well so this is how your curry should look so this is the final final result of my jamaican curry mutton doesn't it look amazing guys and the aroma is so smells so delicious it smells like mm, i could really tap into this thanks guys thanks for liking thanks for commenting and thanks for subscribing happy cooking guys now i have finished cooking my curry now this is how i want my curry to be it has a nice color to it and the right thickness to it right color and also the taste really smells some smell like it's ready to eat so this is how your curry should look right color and the right flow to it this is how it should look happy cooking guys so here is the meal that i have created so i have made curry, curry goat and i've also um made gongo peas and rice and i've also made coleslaw and i have made wild broccoli with carrots and this is how i'm going to incorporate everything to make and display this dish for you guys so as you can see it's looking really amazing and it smells real yummy so you can have your curry goat with white rice if you if you choose but i have it with gongo peas and rice and also with all the vegetables that i have made